Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Rob here at Smirking Gun Reviews, and tonight we're going to be talking about the pilot episode of Avenue 5, it is called I Was Flying, it stars Hugh Laurie, and it's from the creators of Veep. So, I'm really looking forward to this, even though none of the trailers really wowed me. I, they gave us a few nuggets of humor here and there. But I was very concerned, even though I still maintained that I was very, very excited for this to come out. And so here we are. The episode's been over for about an hour and a half, more, a little more than that. And I'm finally uploading this video to talk about whether or not it's worth it or not. Unfortunately, I can't give a definitive answer on that right now because I'd like to, I need more episodes to completely recommend this this show to anyone um, despite it having one of my favorite TV actors of all time which is Hugh Laurie I love him and and other people can like him from all sorts of stuff but I'm a house MD guy in fact I was gonna wear my everybody lies shirt or maybe my normals not normal shirt but I forgot to because it's been such a pain in the ass trying to get this video up <laughs> that I forgot to put anything else together. So, the premise, though, of this show is this space cruise uh, named the Avenue 5 is like a giant spy in space. Think the big ship from Wally, where a bunch of rich, you know, a bunch of people just go and forget about their lives out in space, right? And Ryan Clark, played by Hugh Laurie, is this renowned captain for having saved another cruise ship called Avenue 3. Uh, Josh Gad is like the gajillionaire or whatever you want to call him in this named Herman Judd who's you know basically come up with the, the idea for the ship and all he's just this big genius. He's a he's a little tubby uh, Elon Musk type character I guess. Um, Zach Woods plays Matt Spencer who's kind of like the spaceship concierge uh, Iris Kimura plays Susie. No, uh, Susie Nakamura plays the character uh, Iris uh, Kimura. She's kind of like the EXO slash assistant to Josh Gad's character. Um, and like you got Ethan Phillips from Benson fame uh, on here as Eth uh, Spike Martin. He's like an ex astronaut brought in, kind of like. You know how boxers are at casinos to like greet people and everything. It's like a, a famous face to make people feel safe. Um, and so they've got these people on the ship. I was also thinking it was kind of reminding me of Love Boat. The Love Boat. And uh, something goes wrong and now the ship is three years off course from coming home. <sighs> this episode really wasn't very funny. I was expecting like hard-hitting humor, improvised humor, uh, where people are just kind of ripping into each other. Now I know to expect that, right? And, and, and people are just going to hear that, right? They're going to hear that and go, this show isn't Veep, it doesn't have to be Veep. And blah, 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 blah. I don't want it to be Veep, but from the creators of Veep and with who they've got involved, I kind of expected to have that kind of biting sense of humor. Unfortunately, most of this episode is just not funny. It's actually really boring. It's not until things go writ bad that things kind of get funny. Kind of. There are hints of really where we're headed possibly to be funny. There's some funny improvised lines. But for the most part, and like I said, I need more episodes to, to get, uh, you know, a greater understanding. Like, maybe they just need to find their legs. But as of this first episode, I can't definitively recommend this really to anyone. The standout in this show is Zach Woods from Silicon Valley and The Office, uh, who plays Matt Spencer, this kind of cruise ship concierge. He gets all the best lines. Now I don't know if they're all improvised or what, but Zach Woods is hilarious. As uh, Jared on uh, Silicon Valley, or if you liked him as Gabe on The Office, you will love him here. 
He is the standout here. He is the one who brings the funny most of the time. Because really, this show is just like, yeah, I get it. People are annoying. And so you get a bunch of these assholes on the ship, right? And when things go wrong, everybody starts to turn on each other. It's just... I mean, the, be the best line in this episode is, is Zach Woods yelling at somebody saying, I'm a nihilist. And they say, no, you're not. And he goes, whatever. I thought that line was hilarious. But the rest of it's just kind of... You're waiting for them to just kind of, I don't know, turn on each other in a hilarious fashion. But it just doesn't get there. It just... I kept waiting for somebody to really bring it, and it never gets brung. Hugh Laurie is fine as a fraud. Like, so spoilers, right? Okay, so they say that he's this heroic captain, but you can just tell by the emphasis that they're putting on that fact and how he keeps trying to push it away that, no, you know, it's not, you know, everybody has got involved. I'm not the only one who did something. You know right from that moment that his whole story is going to be bullshit and that he's really nothing. He's just a guy. He was there, he was a bystander, and now he's only here so that he can, like, make people feel better if something does go wrong. But nothing's supposed to go wrong, so he doesn't think he has to do anything. He's even hiding the fact that he's English. Uh, you know, he's basically an actor. These ships aren't supposed to fail. It's like a giant space Titanic. So the premise of this whole thing has a great idea. Unfortunately, too much of this is played just kind of without any jokes. The people on the ship that are supposed to, you know, maybe you're going to laugh at some of the stuff they say, it's really pretty standard stuff, and it's not very funny. You get annoying characters that aren't funny at all, and you just want to see them jettisoned as quickly as possible into space. But you know that's not going to happen. They're gonna, we're going to be stuck with these people just like the people on the ship are. And that just does not make me look forward to things. unless, Because how much insult humor can you have when you're just a, in a contained space for eight episodes. I'm not saying that future episodes can't be great. I'm just saying this is a very bad start. And while he's gesticulating very wildly and thinking maybe there's funny stuff coming out of his mouth, all he's doing is explaining how much of a fraud he is. Josh Gad is somebody I'm not a fan of. Just not. I don't I don't get him. He's one of those people that you. I, I'm sure there are tons of Josh Gad fans, all because of that fucking snowman, right? But I'm. I don't get it. I don't get him, man. I just. It's not everybody can be Chris Farley. Not everybody can be Zach Galifianakis. You know what I'm talking about? The little chubby, funny guys. I just don't get him. Not one bit. And I was trying. Everything in this, I was trying. I kept going. Okay, Josh. Show me the funny. But instead, he's just playing the uh, dis disaffected, you know, billionaire character, you know, like where he doesn't really like people and he only cares about this and it's just a one-note type of thing. His assistant has signs of could be a really funny character down the road, but we don't, you, it's a comedy. You don't have that long to bring people around to say, this is funny. Otherwise, just make it a drama in space. You could turn this, this could have just been a drama. You've got all the acting pedigree here. Just make it Space Titanic. <laughs> but instead, they're going for Space Titanic funny. If this show just went full airplane, if this show just went full naked gun, it has to be one or the other. It either has to be completely silly and ridiculous, or it has to be 100% serious. I just, this kind of thing, it doesn't mix to me. Other people are probably going to think this is a non-stop laugh riot. And if you do more power to you, maybe I just have a different taste of humor than you guys. But I love dark humor. I love gallows humor. And while there were moments that I was laughing, it was so brief. And, and it was mainly when Zach Woods was on screen that I just went, yeah, if this was all just about Zach Woods' character... 
great, but it's not. And so unfortunately, again, like I said, I don't hate this, but it's supposed to be a comedy. And if your comedy's not funny, well, let's just say I'm looking forward to watching the new episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm because my, my, my expectations now have been lowered. So now when I watch that, it'll probably be really funny, even if it's maybe not the best episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm I've ever seen. It's going to be funnier than this. This should have been, they should have played Curb Your Enthusiasm before this. That way you're already laughing while you start watching this, and maybe you'll forget that some of it's not funny. <laughs> A lot of it's not funny. So that's just my two cents on this. I really hate talking about it like this because I, like I said, was really looking forward to this being funny because Hugh Laurie is one of my favorite actors. And I hate it. I hate talking about this. And so if next week isn't good, don't expect me to review it. If it turns it around, I will be back because I don't look forward to giving another negative review about this show. So if I'm back next week, it means... The show turned it around next week. Otherwise, this is another one and done for me. And that sucks because I love Zach Woods in this show. So, if you happened to not hate everything I just said, <laughs> please hit the like button. Comment. I'm, I'm setting myself for a lot of negative comments in this one. Share, subscribe, all that jazz. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter at reviews underscore gun. And we will see you next week, maybe, 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 on another episode of Avenue 5. Bye.